Hello, this is Exquisite Timepieces in Naples, Florida. Thanks for joining us. If you like this watch or would like to view any of our new or pre-owned inventory, please head over and visit the exquisitetimepieces.com website and feel free to give us a call at 239-272-2932 with any questions or visit our showroom in Naples, Florida anytime. We are an authorized dealer of more than 50 different brands from Omega and Breguet to Hublot, Mosier, Grand Seiko, and many more. We also buy and trade on pre-owned watches and we offer the industry's highest prices on the watches we buy. And with that said, let's take a look at today's watch. The Omega Seamaster has been a cast member of the 007 film franchise for 25 years, dating back to the series reboot featuring Pierce Brosnan in the 1995 release, GoldenEye. In the nine films since, numerous versions of the Seamaster have made an appearance on the wrist of James Bond, and the version we have here today is the latest and perhaps the most unique. This model Seamaster is reference number 210.92.42.20.01.001, one of two variations of the 007 edition Seamaster currently available. The alternate model is the same watch, but comes on a Milanese mesh bracelet, as opposed to this striped brown, gray, and beige NATO strap. The model we have here today comes in at a suggested retail price of $8,100, and the version on the mesh bracelet has a slightly higher asking price of $9,200. The watch also comes with a special 007 Omega branded watch roll, which is a departure from the typical Omega display case. This Omega Seamaster, as featured in the upcoming Bond film, No Time to Die, has a 42mm case with a 20mm lug width and has a slightly slimmer profile than the standard Diver 300M of just 13mm thick. The case is made of lightweight grade 2 titanium and is entirely matte finished, with none of the polished appointments as you would find on the standard model Seamaster. As is traditional, the 007 Seamaster has the standard Seamaster features you've come to expect, including a helium escape valve, screw down crown, and an elapsed time dive bezel. The bezel is fully loomed, and of course the dial markers and the handset feature glow in the dark luminescence as well, with the distinct green colored contrast on the watch's minutes hand and on the zero marker loom pip on the bezel. The tropical brown aluminum bezel and the matte brown dial match with coordinating beige markers and graduations. And depending on the light you view the watch in, it can appear almost black or a dark mocha coloration. The dial features the standard Seamaster professional markings along with the coaxial master chronometer designation and the 300M water resistance indication. New for this version, however, is the RAF Broad Arrow Military Insignia located down at the 6 o'clock side of the dial, which is a small nod to the James Bond character's affiliation with the British Royal Navy. While a helium escape valve is very unlikely to be a feature that any person who purchases this watch will ever use, the unidirectional elapsed time bezel on the other hand is a great feature to have on a watch even if you're not a diver. Simply rotate the bezel into alignment with the minutes hand and you can easily track the passage of time over a 60 minute interval. And of course, with the addition of a screw down crown, you should be protected from inadvertently deploying the crown while the watch is in use and more importantly, if the watch is underwater. The case has the traditional twisted lug profile as found on the Omega Seamaster for decades. And while the case lacks the highly polished facets as you would find on the standard model Seamaster, it does have a nice finish nonetheless being entirely of a matte brushed finish and of a slimmer profile, it makes this watch fly under the radar a little more than the more luxurious appearance of its brother, the standard model Seamaster. The domed sapphire crystal features an anti-reflective treatment on the underside and adds to the watch's vintage vibe and presents very much like a classic Hesalite or acrylic crystal. The crystal is clean and clear, and it adds to the highly legible display of the watch face. Now, speaking of the watch face, you might have noticed the lack of date complication, a feature found on the standard Seamaster and frankly most Omega watches. The lack of date complication keeps the dial and the display very clean and balanced. 
And if you're an international spy like James Bond, it's likely that every day is Monday and you're always on duty. So the need for a date display is less important than having an accurate and a reliable timekeeper. As far as timekeeping goes, this watch comes equipped with the Omega Caliber 8806 self-winding, certified, master coaxial chronometer movement, approved by METAS, and resistant to magnetic fields up to 15,000 gauss. The free-sprung balanced automatic movement has a 55-hour power reserve and is accurate from 0 to plus 5 seconds per day. Medos movements are also spec'd to have an extended service interval, exceptional shock resistance, and durability. On the wrist, the watch, especially on this NATO strap, is a lightweight and comfortable companion. It's easy to almost forget that it's there thanks to the titanium case construction, but it's comforting to know that it's available when needed. If you liked this watch, please visit the exquisitetimepieces.com website to view it, along with our entire collection of both new and pre-owned watches, or visit our showroom in beautiful Naples, Florida, anytime.